Welcome back. Let's revisit lesson two. And this is where we'll start for part three. So we'll start from where we left off, from part two. Now quickly you're going to strike the fourth open string and you're going to fly over the twelfth fret with either your ring finger or your index finger and you're going to fret strings four, three, two, one. Here's a little technique uh, if you're using your ring finger. You can actually put your middle finger on top of your ring finger to apply pressure to get a better squeeze on the fret bar. Start from the conclusion of part two and into the new segment. the open fourth string, quickly fret the twelfth, hit the fourth string again, index and middle finger on strings two and three, hit the fourth string once again, release the fret, hit the open sixth string, with your index and middle finger, pluck up on strings two and three, hit the open fifth string, Hit the open fourth string, fret, and here comes that sequence again. All right, to wrap up this portion, let's go back to part two's conclusion and tie it all in to the bass segment that we've just uh, been practicing. All right, just sit back and watch for a minute at what we're going to learn today in part three, and we'll break it down afterwards. I'm going to start from the middle, middle of uh, sections one and two that will lead us into part three and return us to parts one and two. Starting from the midway point. Here's a demonstration of where we're going.
notes ago we learned the bridge. Now to get to the next section, when we sound strings two and three that are open, we're going to have to get our pinky over to the seventh fret first string and get our thumb on the fifth and open string, index finger on the first string and pluck immediately and sound the open fourth string. Now let's examine the fret hand. We've got our pinky on the first string seventh fret and we're going to pluck the open fifth string with the first string and then hit the open fourth string. Slide your pinky up to the tenth fret, sound that, and get your middle finger on the second string, eighth fret, sound that, and get your ring finger up to the fourth string, ninth fret, sound that, then you're going to get a little miniature bar chord here, back on the seventh fret, but you're only going to sound strings one and three. And then there's going to be a little chord change by bringing your index finger to the second string, eighth fret, pinky under the first string, tenth fret, and brush up on those two. thumb on the open fifth string, middle finger on the first string, pluck, sound your thumb on the open fourth string, slide to the tenth fret and with your middle finger sound that. Then when we get to the second fret, or actually second string, eighth fret, again you're using your middle finger, sound that. Then when we position ourselves for the 4th string, ninth fret, we use our thumb to sound that. Then we're going to get these two pink fingers, your thumb and your index, to pinch strings 1 and 3. Little chord change, we're going to change our playing hand with the index and middle finger and brush up on strings 1 and 2. Here's the fret action for this part. Index finger, 10th fret, 6th string. Pinky, go to the 2nd string, 13th fret. Sound them together. Take your ring finger, place it on the 12th fret, strings 1, 2, and 3. You're only going to sound string 3, string 1, and get your index finger onto string 2, 10th fret, and sound that. thumb on the 6th string, middle finger on the 2nd string, pluck. We're going to drop our thumb to the 3rd string, middle finger for the 1st string, and middle finger for the 2nd string. section, let's focus on the final part. You go to the sixth string, choose your finger, I go with the middle finger, you're going to sound the tenth fret, 
then with your choice of fingers, these strings are going to be open and you hit string number three, string number one, string number three. So let's take a look at where we're going next. The whole thing. I'm going to jump ahead purpose being that you got to know where you're going to land this crazy chord position. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but over practice you can land it. So what we're going to have is, you can have your pinky in the first string, 12th fret, index finger, second string, 10th fret, and your middle finger on the third string, 11th fret. sound it from the fifth string. So you'll need that chord after this sequence. Step one for unit three. Got your pinky on the fifth fret, first string. It's going to slide up to the eighth fret, first string. And then you're going to land this little mini chord, two note chord here, which has your pinky on the seventh fret, second string, and your index finger on the third string at the fifth fret. Pluck. On the eighth fret, first string, sound that. Now prepare for takeoff. Land your index and middle fingers on strings two and three. Now the process to get to that chord I showed you just moments ago is to start dropping that pinky finger and start sliding all the way to the 12th fret, that first string. You want to land that one first, at least for me that's how it works. Different people have different approaches. And then you can position your fingers, those two fingers there, which follow a normal sequence, will land on strings two and three. Sound it from the A string. Hit the first string, 12th fret. And then you're going to drop your index finger to the 10th fret, first string, and sound that. Sorry, it's with the bass string, the open 5. Got our thumb on the fifth string, middle finger on the first string, pluck, hit the open four, slide up to the eighth fret, middle finger sounds the first string. Now for the chord change, index and middle finger sound strings two and three. Now we start that slide to the twelfth fret, got a pinky down first. Index finger second, middle finger is third, and we're going to strum with our thumb all the way through to the first string from the open fifth. Now we bring our middle finger back up and hit that first string that's on position number 12 fret, and with a pluck, strings one and five again.
and back to the bridge. So I've stopped right there because now we need to add a turnaround to return to the verse. The verse is played twice as you know. Also we need this turnaround to return to the beginning of the song for the finality. So stay tuned. So you start the turnaround from this part that we've studied already. The second time that you get there. finger onto the seventh fret, strings one, two, and three. Hit the open sixth string with your thumb, thumb the fourth string. Now with your play in hand, index and middle fingers are going to pluck strings two and three. Thumb the fourth string. Now put your pinky on the tenth fret, second string, and pluck second string, third string with your index and middle fingers. Thumb the open 6th string. Now put your middle finger on the 1st string, 8th fret. Pluck strings 1 and 2 with your index and middle fingers. Remove the fret hand. And go to the 4th string to the 12th fret for this harmonic. And we close out this turnaround by putting our fingers, our index finger back on the 7th fret. Strings 1, 2, and 3. Put our middle finger on the first string, eighth fret. Pluck up on strings one and two, two times. Release the index finger from the fretboard, fret number seven one time, strings one and two. Slide it down to the fifth fret, strings one and two, pluck up again. And then get your finger onto the first string, third fret, and pluck strings five, two, and one. Lesson 1 and 2, verses 1 and 2.